I am Stephen Wilkes and I'm the youngest son of my father Morris Wilkes and he and his brother created the first Land Rover oh, over 60 years ago now. An early memory I have is going up to Anglesey where we had uh, a sort of holiday cottage and farm up there. Yeah, I remember those years. The Land Rover was always part of our holiday and that's a very strong memory for me. We take picnics with it. We go sometimes through the dunes. The Land Rover was persuaded to negotiate this stream at one point, which was always very bumpy. And my father used to have to make it charge into it, so we all hung on tight. And the Land Rover went whooshing through. All the mud would splay up everywhere. Oh, we motor through that and then we'd be down on the beach. His thoughts were always for the future. I'd never looked back, really. You know, my father would have been so excited by the modern developments in vehicle design. Uh, he'd love his innovation. He was always looking ahead at the latest things that were coming out. And to, to see the modern Land Rover with its onboard computers and the, uh, the changes that have been made from the Series 1 to what you get now, uh, that would have been of great interest to him and he'd always be really at the forefront of that, trying to develop it further. He's always a man who looked for the future. What evokes such passion in people about Land Rover? I think it's that uh, ability to go anywhere. First of all, you're sitting up high in the vehicle, so you have a sort of commanding view, a sort of commanding view of life, as it were. You've got all these possibilities ahead of you. I imagine myself taking a Land Rover with my wife and my two children and go to, to China. Can you imagine that? Across all these different countries, different terrains, deserts to mountains and snow. What an adventure that would be.